Hey guys, this is Jay from A-Level SOS and today let's start with Boolean Algebra and Logic Circuits. So this is part one of the video in which we will discuss the basic logic gates and their notations. So let's first look at the AND gate. So I'm pretty sure you already know what an AND gate is. But just to clarify it again, if our outputs are both A, are both 0 and 0, then the output is 0. If it is 0 and 1, the output is still 0. So what you need for the output to be 1 is that both of them are 1. If either of them is 0, that would work out. So uh, this is what the truth table for that looks like. And uh, what we are going to study today, uh, something new that might not be done before is the notation of this. So let's uh, look at that. So we got A dot B is the output, okay? Now we can think about the dot as a multiplication sign. Since if either A or B are zero, then our output will be zero, right? So what I mean about that is if our, uh, if either A over here is zero or B is zero, right? Uh, as in these two examples, if A is zero and if B is zero, our output is still zero. Anything multiplied by zero is zero, right? So uh, let's look at an example. So over here, if A is one and B is zero, then the output you'll get a guess. You can guess it pretty easily. It's zero. Now let's look at the OR gate. Um, this is what the symbol for an OR gate is. In an OR gate, if um, you have either A or B as one, then our output will be one. So the only false condition for this is uh, false. Oh yeah, I'm sorry, I didn't mention this before. A one is called as true and zero is called as false, right? So if either um, Z A and B is true, then our output will be true. But if both A and B are false, then our output will be false for an OR gate. So let's see what the notation for this looks like. So, right, we have A plus B is equal to X. So if either A or B is one, then X is equal to one. Let's look at an example. Example, if A is equal to one, B is equal to one. Uh, yeah, okay. If A is one and B is zero, then A plus B, uh, which is X, will be one, which is true. Now I know you could probably say that if both A and B are 1, then our output X should be 2, but no, that just doesn't make sense. This is binary, right? So if um, both of them are true, then our output will also have to be true. Okay, now let's look at the NOT gate, right? So our NOT gates, uh, so actually it's even simpler for the NOT gate. We just have one input, right? This is what the symbol for the NOT gate looks like. The truth table is probably even simpler. We just have one input, let's call it A and the output, right? So if A is one, then the output will be zero. And if the in A is zero, the output will be one, which is just basically opposite of whatever the input is. Now the notation for this is A complement, right? So you probably learned this in maths. If you haven't, that's not an issue. It just means the opposite of whatever the value of A is, right? So we will have, um, x which is the output is equal to a complement okay next is the NAND gate right so um, the NAND gate is exactly the opposite of the AND gate uh, it looks quite bright, like this um, probably not exactly but more or less right we have two inputs and an output the truth table for this a and b the output x if so for an AND gate, AND, not A and D, if our input is zero and zero, the output should also be zero, but this is an AND gate, so we'll have one. Similarly, you can solve for the others and um, you get this, it's a truth table. Now the notation, uh, so this is the important part of the notation, I'm pretty sure you've done everything else in the past. X is equal to A dot B complement so a dot b was the same thing for and but now we have it's an and gate right so we'll have a complement on that all right so i'm pretty sure you already have the hang of what's going on so i'll just quickly put down an r gate and draw the symbol for that we got this 
this is what a null gate looks like now let's draw the truth table for it, it this is a pretty it's a really terrible drawing please don't go with this um, so we got a b the output x now it's the exact opposite of an or gate so in an or if we would have zero and zero the output would be zero yep but over here we'll have x in an or gate if we would have had zero and one it would still be one so it'll be zero one zero one one and one will also be one so that should also be zero uh, okay, I'm sorry about this. A tiny little mistake. This should also be zero. Yeah. One and zero would give one with an R gate, but this is a null gate, so it gives a zero. Right, and um, now let's look at the notation. But basically, the notation is in a similar fashion. X is equal to, um, in an AND gate, we have A plus B, right? It's a complement. So it's worth remembering, right? If it's an AND gate, we have a dot sign. But if it's an OR, uh, or gate, we have a plus sign. Um, think of this as a multiplication sign, right? And this as an addition sign. Might help. Now let's look at an XOR gate, right? Um, this is a bit different. I'm pretty sure this is kind of what it's drawn like. Um, I'm sorry, yep, and the truth table. So basically what happens over here is if you have similar inputs, if both of them are false, then our output will be false. If both of them are true, then also our output will be a false, right? So if it's zero and zero, if they're the same, right, let's look at that. Um, if they're the same, if they're zero and zero, then our output will be a false, right? Um, but if they're one and one, which is they're the same, uh, the inputs are the same, it'll be zero. Um, now, on the other hand, if both of our inputs are something else, something different, then the output will be uh, one, which is true. Okay, the notation for this, it's probably a little out of um, the syllabus for right now, but it's probably a little, it won't harm you to know it anyways. So, x is equal to a. We have a plus sign and then a circle over it, B. If you're still a bit confused, let me just write down a statement that might help you. So, a true output results if one, a true output results if one and only one of the inputs is true. This is this basically means the same thing as what I said, but um, so if only one of your inputs is true, then our output will be true. Otherwise, it will be false. Now let's look at the x nor gate, which is basically um, the complement of the nor gate. Okay, you let me. The symbol is also pretty familiar. Pretty much follows the same pattern, right? We had this, right? So, um, we just put a dot ahead of it, right? It becomes an X NOR gate. The circuit, um, the logic gate for this circuit is the exact opposite of that for the X NOR gate, which means this is how its truth table will look like. Instead of both our inputs having to be the same to get a false value, if they're the same, we'll give a positive value, right? Over here. That's the only thing. The notation for this, pretty easy to guess too. Also, uh, not important to know the notation for A levels. Um, X is equal to A plus dot B and the complement of the whole thing. That's the notation.